Hey friends, so this is part two of our discussion where we were discussing about the doubts which are mostly asked by the students who are going to face the mains exam this year. So let's start. Mainly I did the solved questions from the reference books and uh, also by doing the solved questions actually gives you uh, the way to write your answer and uh, how to frame your answer in the mains exam and also it gives you the variety of the questions that could be asked from a particular topic so uh, this is uh, what I used to do from the reference books during my preparation time and uh, also friends uh, if you are weak in any topic and uh, that particular topic is quite important from exam point of view then definitely you can do that topic from the books also so that um, if uh, any modification is done in that topic you could be able to frame your answer accordingly now for the mock test uh, the pattern that is followed by most of the institute is that for example take any particular subject so in the first mock, what they will do is they will include only a particular topic from that subject. And in the second mock, uh, they will include the previously included topic and uh, also they will give an add-on topic. So friends, what you can do is um, in the first mock, you can go through your notes and the previously asked question for that topic. And in the second mock, um, as you already did your notes and the previously asked questions so now it it is the time to use the reference books so for that topic you can uh, do the solved questions and uh, if theory is uh, not suitable to you then go through the theory as well from the reference books and uh, this is how you can manage uh, doing all the three things parallel uh, your notes previously asked questions and the reference books solved example before appearing in any mock test uh, I used to prepare my mindset that uh, uh, I have to attempt more than 90% of the paper so this is the first thing uh, the marks that I have to attempt and um, after giving the most mock test um, um, you can actually tell that uh, what is the marks you are expecting so this is the second thing the marks you are expecting and um, when the result is out then you have your third thing the marks you have scored so friends uh, these three are like a very important parameters because the marks you uh, attempted the marks you expected and the marks you secured so by doing the proper analyze, uh, analysis of these three parameters you can actually find your drawbacks and um, accordingly you can improve yourself whether it is the theory part whether it is the numerical part or whether it is doing the silly mistakes in the questions or whatever the weak point uh, you find in your analysis of mock test so these three are the parameters that you should analyze for your mock test as well This is the thing that I have already decided while doing my mock test. So what it was is um, your uh, the paper, your conventional paper will contain 8 questions and uh, out of that the question number 1st and question number 5th are going to be your compulsory questions and uh, out of the 8 questions you have to attempt only 5 questions. So uh, 2 are compulsory questions so out of uh, the remaining six questions you have to attempt three questions so friends those three questions are uh, like the deciding factor because you should choose your three questions very wisely um, and after reading each of the six questions only you should decide that which questions uh, you are going to attempt so that you can secure maximum and uh, how you can decide uh, the question is uh, what you have to do while giving your mock test because while giving the mock test and after analyzing your mock test you will find your strong points your strong areas and uh, accordingly you can decide uh, the type of questions you have to attempt in your mains exam
so friends uh, this is the time when you just need to relax because uh, whatever uh, is your performance in the paper one whether it is bad whether it is good whether it is below your expectation or above your expectation whatever it is you should uh, overcome that uh, feeling you have after paper one just relax your mind talk with your friends your families uh, eat a healthy diet just feel fresh and uh, prepare yourself for the paper too so this is the thing you have to do uh, in the time gap uh, you, f you have in between the paper one and paper two so friends uh, i hope this video is useful to you and uh, if you have any other doubts uh, which we have not discussed in these videos then you can write in the comment section below and friends you can also follow me on unacademy uh, where I have prepared various courses and uh, so friends see you again